Whoa. Damn. Wait. This is, this is ridiculous. Hey, babe. Babe, you, you, got, you got to come see this image. Trust me. You're going to want to see this image, man. I cannot believe. Oh, snap. Damn, dog. That's tight, man. My name is George Kushler, pro photographer here in New Orleans. If it requires a camera, I'm your guy. My gear of choice is my Fuji X-T3. I switched from Canon to Fuji, and I have not looked back since. These are my vlogs. These are my videos. This is my YouTube channel. This is Focus for GK. So this is why I'm looking forward to the Fuji X-T4. Stabilization, man. So I really enjoy getting some video clips while I'm working. One, it gives me B-roll for my YouTube channel, but at the same time, it also allows me to uh, possibly give my client a little snippets of uh, something as a highlight, and it's just a little extra bonus for what I do for them. However, me working on the fly doesn't always mean I have good looking video footage because it's just not steady. Um, yeah, so 120 frames per second on the slow-mo always works great. But I always don't want to do that. Sometimes you want the audio. You know what I mean? Now, I can take this footage and put the stabilizer artificially through DaVinci. But it's not the same as if you're actually capturing it stabilized in the actual camera. Not to mention when you use some of your lenses that don't go to like an f2.0 or a 1.8, sometimes they start at four. Um, just like the kit lens, you know, on its widest, it's 2.8, but it goes to a four on the zoom. And that's a pain in the booty. But it's also why the kit lens has stabilization. Okay? So imagine the stabilization on the lens with the internal stabilization with the magnetic awesomeness that Fuji's gonna give us, that four is gonna feel more like you can shoot it as a 2.8. If it's got six stops, six and a half stops of stabilization, that's pretty ridiculous, man. So if, you, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know that my absolute favorite lens to work every time is my 16 millimeter 1.4. Um, the 1.4 is awesome totally awesome and the way the focusing works with the eyes I can shoot at that 1.4 often now here's the cool part because that lens is such a wonderful sharp 
lens and the quality of the image that I love. I don't get that crazy bending on the edges. Um, I like that a lot. That has to do with the crop factor that you're getting. You're not actually getting a full 16 millimeter. But look at this image from the wide angle shot to the cropped section of the same image. Pretty impressive, huh? This is what I like about my 16 millimeter so, so, so much. I can work a room like I've never had the opportunity to work before, even with a zoom lens, because most of my zoom lenses don't have a macro setting. Now, this lens is not advertised as a macro lens, but the focus spacing from the lens to the subject is close, man. It's real close. Um, I'm able to photograph the rings on a wedding, any details in the flowers. Maybe there's details on a corporate event that's just really small. Maybe it's their company logo on a cup, on a bead, or on something small. This camera allows me to get very close, and all you gotta do later is go crop, and it looks beautiful. The quality of the image in the Fuji X-T3 is so good in resolution, you can crop a good bit. Seriously, a good bit. I tell you what, man, if the 16, if the 16 millimeter had stabilization like the kit lens does, it, it would just be the absolute bomb of a lens. And it already is. That's the fun part. So, you know, taking still pictures, you can get away with moving quickly because you can photograph at a higher shutter speed and kind of cheat your moving and breathing fast and running to a spot. Video, you really can't get away with that. So, yeah, I apologize for my shaky footage from time to time in my vlogs, but just know that I'm running and gunning for real on a job and uh, I do not have an extra stabilizer for the same camera I'm taking stills on. <laughs> <laughs> So, if there is one little trick I can share with you whenever I'm photographing a band or anything live that has some movement to it, like you're seeing in the video here with them performing on stage, when I choose to photograph at a 1.4, whether it's a wide angle shot or if I'm just closer to them, because your eye is so big, you're allowing so much light in the camera, okay? You can photograph at a higher shutter speed, which helps you do more handhold shots, handheld shots, and, and, and get away with it. So sometimes if I want to photograph at a thousandth, a thousandth of a second for shutter, just crank your ISO up a little bit. And before you go freaking out that you shouldn't go above 800 ISO, um, this camera, you can absolutely get away with more than that. I mean, on, on weddings, we're doing stills at 4,000 ISO, and it looks fantastic. You know, if you're expecting absolutely no grain whatsoever in your blacks, good luck with that, man. Uh, photographing real jobs, we don't have the luxury to get the buff, best of both worlds, as we say. You can't photograph at 100 ISO and be able to shoot in 4 EV of candlelight. It's just not going to happen. Without a tripod. <laughs> so look, if you want to see these images at a higher resolution, go over to our Facebook page, our group page, Focus with GK, where you can uh, click and see on an image directly that is not being reduced in resolution because of what YouTube does with its algorithm. Um, I encourage you to come join the group because we're a happy little bunch. My subscribers are really awesome with supporting each other. It's not one of those group pages where we're going to you know, rake you over the coals because your image isn't exactly like this. It's not what I want, man. I want you to be encouraged to take your inner artist that you know is inside of you and use that creative eye of yours and then share it because when you start sharing your images, you will become way more aware of how to progress in the future. And uh, I just want to be here for you. You have questions, I'm here. If not, my subscribers are very awesome at also helping. Um, 
Of course, you can also follow me on Instagram with my live stories. Uh, this, for the remainder of this year, I wanna show you some more behind the scenes of actual jobs, just so you can get a gist of what I'm actually working in and you can appreciate the final image that I show you here later. Um, if you wanna purchase this lens, help me by supporting the channel by clicking the link below and the couple of pennies on a dollar will actually help me somehow. <laughs> So look, I thank you so much for being here. If you are new to the channel, according to my analytics, like 85% of our viewers here are not subscribed. And I would love to be in your inbox more often. It's free to subscribe. So smash that subscribe button. Please hit the notification just so you'll be aware. YouTube will actually tell you if you click that bell that I have a video that is brand new. And in the community tab, I always have little snippets of information that we throw out there, kind of giving you a heads up of what's coming in the future, maybe something that's happening in real life. But uh, most importantly, I'm thankful for all of you being here. I will absolutely see you soon. And I want you to stay focused on your dreams. And dear Lord, it takes work to stay focused on anything in this world right now, because we have so many crazy distractions, whether it's builds, relationships, your job there's so many things that can get in the way of you staying motivated on what is something that is positive in your life so uh stick around i'm absolutely going to show you how to stay more on track all right i'm gonna see you guys in the next video to be continued there's more coming up on the third edition of this series <laughs>